Now we got Doris and Micheline is uh, doing make makeup, of course, but she's modeling today as well. Uh, we have Aziza, she's new, she's, she's never modeled for Pinup Girl before. Um, she's doing a great job. And we have Lauren WK, and she's modeled for us once before, and she's awesome. Riding in the RV is terrible in every way, shape, and form. The only good thing is that you feel like you're at camp with your girlfriends, including uh, Tony, like your girlfriend. Um, and you're like talking about boys and talking about clothes. I don't care if they're tweeting about me with you. Yeah, Usually whoever the dude is has to like drive the RV. And I don't know, we weren't gonna make Tony do it. I don't think we really trusted Tony with the RV. No, I don't, I, I don't, I don't trust him with the RV. So to me it was just another adventure, um, coming from Pasadena to out here. It was shaky, rattly, you know, so it was a little like, okay, hope nothing falls on us, but it was just cool, it was fun and... Always an adventure with that many people packed into like such a small environment, with stuff flying all over the place. It's awesome, you know, the fact that Lori drove us out here. So grateful for, you know, because I could never drive an RV. I would seriously drive it off the hill or something. But Lori is a little heavy on the foot and uh, likes to break uh, just unexpectedly um, when we have things everywhere. Uh, but she means well. I mean, I can't imagine that the RV is easy to drive. But anyway, so she's like trustworthy. I know she's not gonna drive us into a ditch. I mean, you know. Every once in a while she stops really short and we all go flying. We lost our table. Our table was a casualty. But that's not really her fault. I mean, you know, sometimes it's a choice. Do I stop short or do I blow through and hit a, uh, a semi? You know, sometimes you just gotta stop short. It's okay. Great, you do. I've been blowing all the lights because the last time I did it, everything was <laughs> bored. <laughs> and then that freeway entrance, I was like, I'm not going to make that. Like, just, <laughs> just all right, let's do this now. It's like, but the back is so the worst spot, too. It's the most bouncy. Yeah. Well, I was in the back because I always um, steal the bed, you know. I'm thinking, oh yeah, overlord privilege, I get the bed. Well, the problem is the back is like the bumpiest. So I'm on the bed and I mean, I'm like pregnant, I'm pretty, pretty darn pregnant. We had a few short stops and I was like waiting for the baby to like fly out the windshield. It's all, all good, it's still moving in there. Kicked the crap out of me last night, I think in revenge. I'm taking the front seat on the way back. As terrible as it is, it's actually kind of fun. So I usually, like last night, I was snuggled up on Micheline's boob while we were uh, going. So that's cool, because you can't really do that in a normal car. So any reason for me to snuggle on a Michelin's breast, I'm down. I'll ride that ride. Yeah, that's been, it's been cool. We, we like our RV trips, even though they're kind of crazy. Nice. <laughs> Today we are out here somewhere. I think we're at the Salton Sea shooting for our spring line for Pinup Girl. Spring, for some reason, is always bigger, much bigger than fall. I, I think because we, Michelle and I, get crazy with like prints. Like, hey, let's do Peter Pan. Let's do a Paris print. We just go nuts, and we don't do that in the fall because in the fall people want dark colors and stuff. The outfits I try on today, you know, they're beautiful colors, perfect for the spring and summer. I have from salmon to coral to beautiful blues and cherries. And even the shoes alone and the parasols, definitely perfect for the weather so you don't feel so hot. And this is more of our glamorous stuff because what is more glamour than dead fish in a sea and some rumble in the jungle back here of whatever the crap is, just nothing. I'm like, what do you want? Oh my God! Oh my God! I think the weird contrast actually works to show that these dresses are beautiful and striking, so I get it, but it's really funny when you're like driving to your location, you're like, that's cool, that abandoned building literally says the hills have eyes spray painted on it. So uh, we like to just pretty much go to the hardest locations to possibly shoot, whether it be for permit or just terrain, or usually this place stinks, but um, right now it's actually not too bad. It's Kind of pleasant, which is surprising. It's cool though, definitely get all dolled up. Any excuse to get dolled up. 
clouds in the sky so we're all blinded like one shot into doing our photo shoots we're like but it's good direct <laughs> yeah, sunlight rock and roll Personally, favorite ones are. Uh, I definitely say that swimsuits. I love swimsuits. So, us females, we are very self-conscious. Even if it's a little flaw, you know, that's just naturally us females. But the fact that peanut girl clothing, any shape, size, and we feel beautiful, look beautiful inside and out, and just the way how the clothes fit. Because I'm petite and I got a big butt, so it's one of those where it's like, okay, need something that just accentuates everything perfectly. And vintage clothing definitely gets it for me. The light is just crap, so we're gonna go eat something, which is like the best part of the photo shoot day, where we get to eat for free. And then uh, we'll go, I think we're gonna try to find some place in Palm Springs or something to shoot. So a little less hills have eyes like. So it, um, so, so far so good. Well, I think people think I was fatter than what I was, just because I think it showed more of my face. Right. So people were like, oh. So the type of clothes you wear really accentuate every little curve. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you are an extremely curvy girl, it's going to hit you like at all those spots. Yeah. So yeah, so it's just really weird. And especially since I've been doing things so healthy and just feeling healthy, like way healthier. Yeah, so when people that. say something, like I'm just like, I'm not going on some crazy crash diet or taking like, like pills really and yeah, like not exactly. eating. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, my body is like the healthiest like I've ever it's felt, yeah. and like I'm not having any caffeine. I'm barely drinking, and people are just like, nah, I like you so much better when you're fatter. And I'm yeah, like, I what? Like, yeah, I like you so much better when you, yeah, like you, so right? better when you had an unhealthy life. Oh and I'm like, ah, uh, I don't know either. what to say to that. Like, you're way too. Funny. But I think they all, they're maybe, fucking fat as fucking half sleep. <laughs> Well, I, think, I think also with being models and stuff, like they're if they see diet. You look just too skinny. No, I think they see like diet or weight loss, and they think it's a super vain or like a oh she must be like trying to be like a runway model or this. I'm, I'm like you no, I'm just the like, down. I'm just trying to be healthy. Right, like I have right. diabetes and fucking cancer in my family. Like you're, fucking plague. And you're I silly. You're silly not, Doris. You're silly I'm not. Silly <laughs> out, like, like she's not drinking like eight drinks when she goes out. Fuck her. I liked her way better when she was a fatter, drunker Sad person. Doris. Like <laughs> I have the diabetes. <laughs> I have the diabetes. <laughs> I'm like I don't know what to say.
It's his baby. We have titty wrestling. You're so bad. You're so bad. At this point, we're guerrilla shooting, just shooting anywhere. Um, showing up on like someone's street and shooting in front of their house. Hey, how's it going? Quick. Yeah, I'm not getting that the number on the door at all. Good. That was not your house. It's like, no, it's just a door that looks just like your door. And your little purple flowers. Yeah. Well, you know, now it's legal. You can shoot on the sidewalk. There's nothing they can do about that. So we can look thing a little bit more. Good. Perfect. Oh, hot, hot. Oh, the light got him perfect. Just then. Yeah, I was saying the earrings are hot, not you, Josh. Ah. <laughs> I see that highlight. Yeah, you're talking yeah. about it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> good. All right. Cool. That's it. And we're ready to rock. Ah. This is the exact color of the back of the, the wall. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see Doris. She's just hair and lips. Don't run me out her. Yeah, don't be the homeowner. We were in Palm Springs, just kind of like gorilla in it around. Changing in the middle of the street. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Rock and roll. Shooting and cars are like driving around us and it's Palm Springs, so it's mostly older people and stuff and they're just stopping. They just stop and just stare. And then what did she say? Fuck those old she called them like old, flabby, <laughs> saggy white dudes. <laughs> I wish them nothing but excrement and death. I fucking died out of laughing so hard. <laughs> One time, uh, one car pulled over and they put down the window to take a picture and I guess this woman's husband like told her not to do that or something and she was like, what? I don't care, she's cute. And I thought that that was really funny. But um, yeah, no one seemed to mind our presence as opposed to in LA where everyone would be tracking us down asking if we had a permit. Kind of like rag-tagging it up today. Yeah, this is extra gorilla status. This is like, yeah. But every time we try to get a permit, it backfires. Like last time, we tried to do it the right way in Santa Monica. And, and they were like, just kidding. Get out. <laughs> we're like, oh, OK. <laughs> Bye. And they shot in the hotel earlier, and then we took the RV out here to Joshua Tree to shoot with all these nice rocks and mountains and uh, Joshua trees. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, my 
I really do like this cream. Is the blue one Michelin just this and blue? Um, the it's black brown? Uh, yeah. Oh, the mustard's up too? Oh, okay. Yeah, one more. Good. All right. Excuse me, Linda. Okay. while you're pregnant. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really work. I'm on a rock! I wish we could have the RV next to the spot where we're shooting because the shoes that we have to shoot in are all too big for me because my, my feet are really tiny. Oh, it's like there's, there's really no good footwear choice for the desert. No. Uh, so I'm like flopping around in the dirt and all these like pointy spines keep getting in my shoes and stabbing me. But everyone seems to be getting stabbed by those. Ah! Did it break or did it come out? Okay, we gotta rinse that off right away. Is it bleeding? Not that I can tell, but it went, it went into your foot. Yeah, 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 let me just sit down. There's like another one on that side. Good, let's do a few from the back. Yo. Oh. Actually, do more like you're standing and I see your butt. You know what I mean? Like, make from the back, make an S shape. Very good, nice. Hot, good. Good, nice. All right. Uh, try this again. Hey, it's the part where I make one of the Arabs. <laughs> So everyone thinks Pinup Girl clothing is all 1950s style clothing. It's actually, uh, we're, we take our inspiration from like 1892, where uh, people are taking pictures with cloaks over them. Because I just came out to do a, a shoot with Laura, and literally she has a black towel <laughs> hanging over her with her camera in it. And I swore that she was going to just start taking pictures. Like there was going to be like a poof, like a puff of smoke and doing. Dark room. <laughs> Uh, well, the problem is when you're out in direct sunlight and you take a photo, you have to check your exposure to see if it's good, but when you look down at the little screen, it's it's totally bright, so you can't see anything, so you end up having to put, you know, something dark over your head so you can see what you're doing, and then you can decide if that actually, you know, looks good. So, you know, I was running back into the RV to look, um, then of course I had my reading glasses with me, it was really sad, you know, take a photo. Okay, let me put my reading glasses on. Okay, let me put this thing over my head. So it was like this whole process. <laughs> there we go. Fresh. I'm like, what the? <laughs> Yeah, this, this, this dress definitely works. I take it all back. So as you all know, uh, Laura's knocked up. <laughs> oh, I'm ready to go. So She's ready to give birth right there. Oh, ready to go. Shut up, Angela. This is wild. But of course, you know, Laura is still Laura. At the end of the day, she's still this super driven, passionate, creative, some would say controlling, I say creative uh, force, you know, behind her company. So she's an amazing photographer, so she's, you know, shooting us. But the Laura Burns I know is Laura Burns who slash Spider Woman, who's like taking pictures and like lunging and like just kind of going like this, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, it's fucking hot, man. And just like a weird sexual harassing Spider Woman. And now that she is with Baby, it's, you know, <laughs> poor Laura just has a box for her and she sits. And she's just like, okay, I'm gonna stay here. Let's do everything that we possibly can until you guys are gonna force me to have to move to another location. 
I didn't have to get up, and, and that was good because, you know, Micheline and, and Chelsea, they keep the models coming. The minute one's done, you're like, okay, next, there's another one. You know, so I didn't have to keep running back and forth. I'm next, victim! So as much as, you know, you know, she can be a little, you know, grouchy or, you know, lovely, we, uh, we're still gonna, we're still gonna rock on. We still just make sure we have our shit together. I think it makes us, you know, as a model, want to do the best that we can as quickly as can because, you know, she's proud of her work, she wants to do it, and we don't want to cut her off, you know, or be like horrible while doing it. And she's like, God damn it, I'm fucking pregnant, let's hurry this shit up. So, trying to be a little quicker and faster and better for her. Laura makes X from size triple zero to all the way up to 4XL, you know, there will always be an outfit, no matter what shape or size a female is. You know, the fact that her clothing, it makes the female body look beautiful. They have flattery things for every body type, and it's all about like, making a woman look her best and feel her best. I love clothes. I love number of clothing. I love vintage. So you know, more the more events, the more shoots. You know, I'm ready. Bigger and better things coming this year, definitely. Yes, I'm rolling down this highway hard again. I don't know which way to go.